Shalom, shalom, and greetings again from Teshua. Today, me and my children, my class, we're going to do um, reading, and it's going to be from the book of Yasher. I love this book. It's going to be the book of Yasher, but we're going to read today on chapter 27 about the death of Nimrod. But this is how we do during class. So we're going to let our children read, and I will do the follow-up verses. So we're going to begin. We have Asher, we have Yeshai, Sephorah, Shalom, Shalom. Ahava, Sarai, and Hadassah. Shalom. So we pray that you enjoy these videos, and remember to please continue to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave your comments. We really enjoy your comments. Yahweh Baruch to the scripture. Verse 1. And at that time after the death of Abraham, frequently went in, and Esau at that time after the death of Abraham, frequently went into the field to hunt. And Nimrod king of Babel, the same as Amrel, also frequently went with his mighty men to hunt in the field and to walk about with his men in the cool of the day. Verse 3. <clears throat> and Nimrod was observing Esau all the days, uh, all the days, for a for jealousy was formed in his heart, in the heart of Nimrod, against Esau all the days. And and on a certain day Esau went in the field to hunt, and he found Nimrod walking in the wilderness with his two men. Verse 5. And all the mighty men and his people were with him in the wilderness. But they removed at a distance from him, and they went from him in the different directions to hunt. And Esau concealed, concealed himself for Nimrod, and he lurked for him in the wilderness. And Nimrod and his men were at the um, and Nimrod and his men did not know him. And Nimrod and his men frequently walked in the field in the cool of the day and to know where his men was hunting in the field. Verse 7. And Nimrod and his two men that were with him came to the place with came to the place where they were when Esau started suddenly from his lurking place and drew his sword and hastened and ran to Nimrod and cut off his head. And Esau fought a desperate fight with the two men that were with Nimrod. And when they called out to him, Esau turned to them and smote them to death with his sword. Verse 9. And all the mighty men of Nimrod who had left him, who had left him to go in the wilderness heard the cry at a distance. And they knew the voices of those two men, and they ran to know the cause of it. And when they found the king and the two men that were with him lying dead in the wilderness. Verse 10. And when Esau saw the mighty men of Nimrod coming at a distance, he fled and thereby escaped. And Esau took the valuable garments of Nimrod, which Nimrod's father had bequeathed to Nimrod, and that which Nimrod prevailed over the whole land. And he ran and concealed them in his house. Verse 11. And Esau took those garments and ran into the city on account of Nimrod's men. And he came unto his father's house, wearied and exhausted from fight. And he was ready to die through grief when he approached his brother Yaakov and sat before him. And he said unto his brother Yaakov, Behold, I shall die this day, and wherefore then do I want the birthright? And Yaakov acted wisely with Esau in this matter. And Esau sold his birthright to Yaakov, for it was so bought, brought about by Yah. Verse 13. And Esau's portion in the cave of the field of Machpelah, which Abraham had bought from the children of Heth for the possession of a burial ground, Esau also sold to Yaakov. And Yaakov bought all this from his brother Esau for a value given. And Yaakov wrote the whole of this in a book. And he testified the same with witnesses. And he sealed it. And the book remained in the hands of Yaakov. And when Nimrod the son of Cush died, his men lifted him up and bought him in consternation and buried him in his city. And all the days that Nimrod lived, 
for 215 years, and he died. And the days that Nimrod reigned upon the people of the land were 185 years. And Nimrod died by the sword of Esau. He died in shame and contempt. And the seed of Abraham caused his death as he had seen in his dream. And at the death of Nimrod, his kingdom became divided into how many divisions? Many. And all those parts that Nimrod reigned over were restored to the respective kings of the land, who recovered them after the death of Nimrod. And all the people of the house of Nimrod were for a long time enslaved to all the other kings of the land. So, who killed Nimrod? Esau. How did, um, where did he kill him at? How did he kill him? In the way that they came in, he used the sword to cut off his head. That's right. And so, what did uh, Esau sold to Yahweh? That's right. Why? Because he thought he was going to die. And he was what? Tired. Tired. And exhausted. That's right. And so, when he sold his birthright to Yaakov, what did Yaakov do? He wrote, he wrote it down in a book. He wrote it down in a book and he did what to it? Sealed it. Sealed. And he did it in front of how many? Witnesses. Witnesses. Very tough. So, um, we pray that you enjoy this. Yahweh Baruch you all. And like I said, you can even get this on Amazon. I love it. I love reading that to my children for their devotions. And it's very interesting. So Yahweh Baruch you, enjoy the video. Say Shalom. Shalom. Say Shalom, Red. Say Shalom. Right. All right, say Shalom, Zebby. Say Shalom. Big boy, wave. Wait, let me see. Say Shalom. Say Shalom, Kefra. Kefra. Not to Zebby. Look, look at me. Look at me. Say shalom. All right. Say shalom. All right, I'm ready. Get on your mark. Yes. Oh, she took off. She took off. Go. 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 Go.